In mathematics, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, symbols, or expressions, arranged in rows and columns. The dimensions of the matrix below are 2 times 3, because there are 2 rows and 3 columns. The individual items in a matrix are called its elements or entries, provided that they are the same size. Two matrices can be added or subtracted element by element. The rule for matrix multiplication, however, is that two matrices can be multiplied only when the number of columns in the first equals the number of rows in the second. A major application of matrices is to represent linear transformations, that is, generalizations of linear functions such as f equals 4x. For example, the rotation of vectors in three-dimensional space is a linear transformation which can be represented by a rotation matrix R. If V is a column vector describing the position of a point in space, the product RV is a column vector describing the position of that point after a rotation. The product of two transformation matrices is a matrix that represents the composition of two linear transformations. Another application of matrices is in the solution of systems of linear equations. If the matrix is square, it is possible to deduce some of its properties by computing its determinant. For example, a square matrix has an inverse if and only if its determinant is not zero. Insight into the geometry of a linear transformation is obtainable from the matrix's eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Applications of matrices are found in most scientific fields. In every branch of physics, including classical mechanics, optics, electromagnetism, quantum mechanics, and quantum electrodynamics, they are used to study physical phenomena, such as the motion of rigid bodies. In computer graphics, they are used to project a three-dimensional image onto a two-dimensional screen. In probability theory and statistics, stochastic matrices are used to describe sets of probabilities. For instance, they are used within the PageRank algorithm that ranks the pages in a Google search. Matrix calculus generalizes classical analytical notions such as derivatives and exponentials to higher dimensions. A major branch of numerical analysis is devoted to the development of efficient algorithms for matrix computations, a subject that is centuries old and is today an expanding area of research. Matrix decomposition methods simplify computations, both theoretically and practically. Algorithms that are tailored to particular matrix structures, such as sparse matrices and near diagonal matrices, expedite computations in finite element method and other computations. Infinite matrices occur in planetary theory and in atomic theory. A simple example of an infinite matrix is the matrix representing the derivative operator, which acts on the Taylor series of a function. Definition a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers or other mathematical objects for which operations such as addition and multiplication are defined. Most commonly, a matrix over a field F is a rectangular array of scalars each of which is a member of F. Most of this article focuses on real and complex matrices, i.e., matrices whose elements are real numbers or complex numbers, respectively. More general types of entries are discussed below. For instance, this is a real matrix. The numbers, symbols or expressions in the matrix are called its entries or its elements. The horizontal and vertical lines of entries in a matrix are called rows and columns, respectively. Size The size of a matrix is defined by the number of rows and columns that it contains. A matrix with n rows and n columns is called an m times n matrix or m by n matrix, while m and n are called its dimensions. For example, the matrix A above is a 3 times 2 matrix. Matrices which have a single row are called row vectors, and those which have a single column are called column vectors. A matrix which has the same number of rows and columns is called a square matrix. A matrix with an infinite number of rows or columns is called an infinite matrix. In some contexts, such as computer or algebra programs, it is useful to consider a matrix with no rows or no columns, called an empty matrix. 
Notation. Matrices are commonly written in box brackets or large parentheses. The specifics of symbolic matrix notation vary widely, with some prevailing trends. Matrices are usually symbolized using uppercase letters, while the corresponding lowercase letters, with two subscript indices, represent the entries. In addition to using uppercase letters to symbolize matrices, many authors use a special typographical style, commonly bold face upright, to further distinguish matrices from other mathematical objects. An alternative notation involves the use of a double underline with the variable name, with or without bold face style. The entry in the ith row and jth column of a matrix A is sometimes referred to as the I, J, or TH entry of the matrix, and most commonly denoted as IJ or AIJ. Alternative notations for that entry are A, I, J, or I, J. For example, the entry of the following matrix A is 5. Sometimes, the entries of a matrix can be defined by a formula such as I, J equals F. For example, each of the entries of the following matrix A is determined by A I J equals I minus J. In this case, the matrix itself is sometimes defined by that formula, within square brackets or double parenthesis. For example, the matrix above is defined as A equals I J, or A equals if matrix size is m times n, the above-mentioned formula f is valid for any i equals 1, m and any j equals 1. This can be either specified separately, or using m times n as a subscript. For instance, the matrix A above is 3 times 4 and can be defined as A equals I minus J, or A equals I minus J, 3 times 4. Some programming languages utilize doubly subscripted arrays to represent an m times on matrix. Some programming languages start the numbering of array indexes at zero, in which case the entries of an m by n matrix are indexed by 0 i m minus 1 and 0 j n minus 1. This article follows the more common convention in mathematical writing where enumeration starts from 1. The set of all m by n matrices is denoted basic operations. There are a number of basic operations that can be applied to modify matrices, called matrix addition, scalar multiplication, transposition, matrix multiplication, row operations, and submatrix addition, scalar multiplication and transposition. Familiar properties of numbers extend to these operations of matrices. For example, addition is commutative, i.e., the matrix sum does not depend on the order of the summands. A plus B equals B plus A. The transpose is compatible with addition and scalar multiplication, as expressed by T equals C and T equals it plus B T. Finally, T equals A. Matrix multiplication Multiplication of two matrices is defined if and only if the number of columns of the left matrix is the same as the number of rows of the right matrix. If A is an M by N matrix and B is an N by P matrix, then their matrix product tab is the M by P matrix whose entries are given by dot products of the corresponding row of A and the corresponding column of B, where 1 I M and 1 J P. For example, the underlined entry 2340 in the product is calculated as plus plus equals 2340. Matrix multiplication satisfies the rules C equals A, and C equals A C plus B C as well as C equals C A plus C B. Whenever the size of the matrices is such that the various products are defined, the product tab may be defined without bar being defined, namely if A and B are M by N and N by K matrices, respectively, and MK. Even if both products are defined, they need not be equal, i.e., generally ab bar, i.e., matrix multiplication is not commutative. In marked contrast to numbers whose product is independent of the order of the factors, an example of two matrices not commuting with each other is Whereas besides the ordinary matrix multiplication just described, there exist other less frequently used operations on matrices that can be considered forms of multiplication, 
such as the Hadamard product and the Kronecker product. They arise in solving matrix equations such as the Sylvester equation. Row operations There are three types of row operations. Row addition, that is adding a row to another. Row multiplication, that is multiplying all entries of a row by a non-zero constant. Row switching, that is interchanging two rows of a matrix. These operations are used in a number of ways, including solving linear equations and finding matrix inverses. Submatrix A submatrix of a matrix is obtained by deleting any collection of rows and or columns. For example, from the following 3 by 4 matrix, we can construct a 2 by 3 submatrix by removing row 3 and column 2. The minors and cofactors of a matrix are found by computing the determinant of certain submatrices. A principal submatrix is a square submatrix obtained by removing certain rows and columns. The definition varies from author to author. According to some authors, a principal submatrix is a submatrix in which the set of row indices that remain is the same as the set of column indices that remain. Other authors define a principal submatrix to be one in which the first k rows and columns, for some number k, are the ones that remain. This type of submatrix has also been called a leading principal submatrix. Linear equations Matrices can be used to compactly write and work with multiple linear equations, i.e., systems of linear equations. For example, if A is an M by N matrix, X designates a column vector of N variables X1, X2, Xn, and B is an M times 1 column vector. Then the matrix equation X equals B is equivalent to the system of linear equations A1, 1 by 1 plus A1, 2 by 2 plus, plus A1, NXN equals B1, AM, 1 by 1 plus AM, 2 by 2 plus, plus AM, NXN equals BM. Linear transformations. Matrices and matrix multiplication reveal their essential features when related to linear transformations, also known as linear maps. A real M by N matrix A gives rise to a linear transformation Rn room mapping each vector X in Rn to the product X, which is a vector in room. Conversely, each linear transformation F. Rn room arises from a unique M by N matrix A. Explicitly, the entry of A is the ith coordinate of F, where EJ equals is the unit vector with 1 in the jth position and 0 elsewhere. The matrix A is said to represent the linear map F, and A is called the transformation matrix of F. For example, the 2 times 2 matrix can be viewed as the transform of the unit square into a parallelogram with vertices at and. The parallelogram pictured at the right is obtained by multiplying A with each of the column vectors and in turn, these vectors define the vertices of the unit square. The following table shows a number of 2 by 2 matrices with the associated linear maps of R2. The blue original is mapped to the green grid in shapes. The origin is marked with a black point. Under the one-to-one -one correspondence between matrices and linear maps, matrix multiplication corresponds to composition of maps. If a k by m matrix B represents another linear map G, room R k, then the composition G f is represented by bar since equals G equals G equals B equals x. The last equality follows from the above-mentioned associativity of matrix multiplication. The rank of a matrix A is the maximum number of linearly independent row vectors of the matrix, which is the same as the maximum number of linearly independent column vectors. Equivalently it is the dimension of the image of the linear map represented by A. The rank nullity theorem states that the dimension of the kernel of a matrix plus the rank equals the number of columns of the matrix. Square matrices A square matrix is a matrix with the same number of rows and columns. An n by n matrix is known as a square matrix of order n. Any two square matrices of the same order can be added and multiplied. The entries A form the main diagonal of a square matrix. They lie on the imaginary line which runs from the top left corner to the bottom right corner of the matrix. 
main types diagonal and triangular matrices if all entries of A below the main diagonal are zero. A is called an upper triangular matrix. Similarly if all entries of A above the main diagonal are zero, A is called a lower triangular matrix. If all entries outside the main diagonal are zero, A is called a diagonal matrix. Identity matrix The identity matrix in of size n is the n by n matrix in which all the elements on the main diagonal are equal to 1 and all other elements are equal to 0, e.g., it is a square matrix of order n, and also a special kind of diagonal matrix. It is called an identity matrix because multiplication with it leaves a matrix unchanged. n equals i more equals a for any m by n matrix a. Symmetric or skew-symmetric matrix A square matrix A that is equal to its transpose, i.e., A equals it, is a symmetric matrix. If instead, A was equal to the negative of its transpose, i.e., A equals minus it, then A is a skew-symmetric matrix. In complex matrices, symmetry is often replaced by the concept of Hermitian matrices, which satisfy A equals A, where the star or asterisk denotes the conjugate transpose of the matrix, i.e., the transpose of the complex conjugate of A. By the spectral theorem, real symmetric matrices and complex Hermitian matrices have an eigenbasis, i.e., every vector is expressible as a linear combination of eigenvectors. In both cases, all eigenvalues are real. This theorem can be generalized to infinite dimensional situations related to matrices with infinitely many rows and columns. See below. Invertible matrix and its inverse A square matrix A is called invertible or non-singular if there exists a matrix B such that HAB equals bar equals in. If B exists, it is unique and is called the inverse matrix of A, denoted A minus 1. Definite matrix A symmetric N times N matrix is called positive definite. If for all non-zero vectors x are in the associated quadratic form given by QE equals x tax takes only positive values. If the quadratic form takes only non-negative values, the symmetric matrix is called positive semidefinite, hence the matrix is indefinite precisely when it is neither positive semidefinite nor negative semidefinite. A symmetric matrix is positive definite if and only if all its eigenvalues are positive, i.e., the matrix is positive semi-definite and it is invertible. The table at the right shows two possibilities for 2 by 2 matrices, allowing us input two different vectors instead yields the bilinear form associated to A, bar equals x t a y. Orthogonal matrix An orthogonal matrix is a square matrix with real entries whose columns and rows are orthogonal unit vectors. Equivalently, a matrix A is orthogonal if its transpose is equal to its inverse, which entails where I is the identity matrix. An orthogonal matrix A is necessarily invertible, unitary, and normal. The determinant of any orthogonal matrix is either plus 1 or minus 1. A special orthogonal matrix is an orthogonal matrix with determinant plus 1. As a linear transformation, every orthogonal matrix with determinant plus 1 is a pure rotation while every orthogonal matrix with determinant minus 1 is either a pure reflection or a composition of reflection and rotation. The complex analog of an orthogonal matrix is a unitary matrix. Main operations trace the trace TR of a square matrix A is the sum of its diagonal entries. While matrix multiplication is not commutative as mentioned above, the trace of the product of two matrices is independent of the order of the factors. TR equals TR. This is immediate from the definition of matrix multiplication. Also, the trace of a matrix is equal to that of its transpose, i.e., TR equals TR. Determinant The determinant detor a, of a square matrix A is a number encoding certain properties of the matrix. 
A matrix is invertible if and only if its determinant is non-zero. Its absolute value equals the area or volume of the image of the unit square, while its sign corresponds to the orientation of the corresponding linear map. The determinant is positive if and only if the orientation is preserved. The determinant of 2 by 2 matrices is given by the determinant of 3 by 3 matrices involves 6 terms. The more lengthy Leibniz formula generalizes these two formulae to all dimensions. The determinant of a product of square matrices equals the product of their determinants. Det equals det det. Adding a multiple of any row to another row, or a multiple of any column to another column, does not change the determinant. Interchanging two rows or two columns affects the determinant by multiplying it by minus 1. Using these operations, any matrix can be transformed to a lower triangular matrix. And for such matrices the determinant equals the product of the entries on the main diagonal. This provides a method to calculate the determinant of any matrix. Finally, the Laplace expansion expresses the determinant in terms of minors, i.e., determinants of smaller matrices. This expansion can be used for a recursive definition of determinants that can be seen to be equivalent to the Leibniz formula. Determinants can be used to solve linear systems using Kramer's rule, where the division of the determinants of two related square matrices equates to the value of each of the system's variables, eigenvalues and eigenvectors a number lambda and a non-zero vector v satisfying av equals lambda v are called an eigenvalue and an eigenvector of a, respectively. The number lambda is an eigenvalue of an n times n matrix A if and only if A minus lambda in is not invertible, which is equivalent to the polynomial par in an indeterminate x given by evaluation. The determinant debt is called the characteristic polynomial of A. It is a monic polynomial of degree n. Therefore the polynomial equation par e equals zero has at most n different solutions, i.e., eigenvalues of the matrix. They may be complex even if the entries of A are real. According to the Cayley-Hamilton theorem, par e equals zero, that is, the result of substituting the matrix itself into its own characteristic polynomial yields the zero matrix.